opportunity. We're going to learn some more information. So thankful to have a licensed IRS enrolled agent and here, one of only 5,000 in the country, by the way. So um, tremendous resource, especially in the middle of the 2009 tax reporting season. Um, so now tell us, I'm sure there are many, many individuals and businesses out there who are um, faced with some maybe tax errors or things that got missed, things forgotten, and they're up against the opportunity to maybe file an amended return. So um, do you have any words of encouragement for these people who are afraid maybe they're going to be raising some red flags and making themselves a, a target for the IRS to audit them? <laughs> well, uh, thanks uh, for the question. Uh, quite frankly, that is not the case when it comes to uh, red flag relating to amended returns. Amended return is within the law. And the law is very clear on that. And the law states and stipulates that you have three years to file an amended return if you miss something very valuable that can make a difference on your tax return. Now, so you might not have reported all your income or you did not report all your charitable contribution or you reported your property taxes but you only reported for the summer you did not report for the winter. Now all those are deductible expenses that will have an impact on your tax return. Well because the government can change anything that you do wrong they give you the same privilege if you make a mistake for you to change it and get what it do you. Okay. So if you find anything on your tax return that is inaccurate, you are required by law to file an amended return and fix that problem. Again, you have three years to do so. Now, what most people fail to realize is when you file an amended return, you can either get a refund or you could possibly owe them more money. For example, if you did not report all your income, then if you add more income to them in the return, there's a possibility that you might get a refund or you might even owe money. On the flip side, if you did not report all your expenses, which will reduce your taxable income, and for that matter, reduce your taxes that you pay, then if you find them in their return, you're going to get a refund. But it is within the law for you to file an amended return if there is something wrong with your return. That necessarily does not mean you'll be picked for an audit. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because if you have a legitimate deduction and you have the documents to back it up, there is no point of getting afraid because if they come, you will be able to prove your point. So amended return is not supposed to scare somebody or to raise a red flag. That is just a myth. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's really good to know because there, there is more education and awareness with the use of the internet and more people are, are utilizing resources like the videos that we're doing here today to really understand what they're entitled to and um, that it, it is a resource that's available to them. People are more informed and it is available not only to businesses but individuals as well. Absolutely and uh, again uh, it is within your right to file an amended return so long as the amended return is not fraudulent to get a refund you should not be worried about raising a red flag because it is within your right to file an amended return within the three year period. Okay, all right. And when in doubt, seek counsel from a professional such as Mark Way Boy and um, he'll ensure that uh, with his signature on the tax return, everything is done within the law, presented completely and accurately. And um, yeah, I'd just like to thank you again. Um, people out there, 
probably will be interested in getting in touch if there are any questions. Call the office directly at 248-395-3388 and that is for Smart Business Taxes PLC right here in Metropolitan Detroit.